Let's now take a quick look at some conventions for how to write your R code for the review questions and for the assignments. As you've already seen from the prior course, Blackboard has certain pattern matching issues. We've raised it with Blackboard. They've promised to look at it, but uh, nothing has happened so far. So this problem actually persists. Uh, now this, of course, arises in the context of automatically grading many of the submissions that you make for review questions and also for some assignment questions. And, you know, since these are all things that can potentially be checked automatically, there's really no point in uh, anybody spending the time to review uh, all of those answers, right? Because there are going to be so many answers. There are 70 plus students and uh, every week I'll have, you know, something of the order of 60 or 70 questions, right? So this is a huge number of things to look at, almost 500 uh, individual things uh, to look at. So that's going to take a lot of time. I don't want to do this when it can be automated. And for the most part, uh, the pattern matching actually works. It fails in a few cases, right? So what I would like to do is to minimize the impact of this uh, irritant pesky problem through some coding conventions, okay? So I'm only talking about coding conventions that I'm going to suggest, and it's not about the correctness of code. Your code may still be correct, but for whatever reason, because the pattern matching is not working correctly, Blackboard may not understand that your code is actually correct. Okay, and again, like I said, for the most part it does, but in a few pesky situations it fails, and unfortunately Blackboard is not able to tell us exactly what are those situations, right? So we are not able to guard against that upfront. We are still working on it. Maybe this will get solved uh, before we get too far into the course. Okay, so first convention is please have exactly one space before and after operators. So what I mean is, you, here you've got the operator plus. So I'm saying, please have exactly one space before the plus and one space after the plus, okay? So don't put no spaces or don't put two spaces and so on. Exactly one space before and after the plus, okay? Now this happens to be a good practice to follow in any case, just for code readability. So there's no problem doing this, okay? Another example here, I'm saying X is assigned the value of Y times Z. So once again, this is the assignment operator. So I'm saying put one space before, one space after. Exactly one space before, exactly one space after, right? So don't put no space or don't put more than one space, put exactly one. And of course, we are still following the same thing for the multiplication operator uh, right here. Okay, so this is the convention that we are talking about. Uh, and the same thing will apply even to the division operator, although, uh, Sometimes it might actually make sense not to put the space, uh, you know, surrounding the division operator, but just to be consistent, I'm following the same convention for the assignments. Okay, so these are, I think, decent rules to follow in any case. Uh, so, uh, code that doesn't follow these conventions and is still correct is this. So, for example, A plus B, no space before and after. This is perfectly correct R code, but uh, because of the pattern matching issues, I'm saying don't do this uh, because when I put the exact match for the answer, I'll have the exact match looking like this. So this, uh, the pattern, if the pattern fails, then this will fail. I have a feeling that for this particular scenario, uh, pattern would still actually work, but I'm saying just follow this convention. Okay, so similarly, uh, don't do this here. What we have done is we have not put uh, surrounded the assignment operator with spaces, although we have done it correctly for the multiplication operator. Okay, so that's one scenario. Have a space between uh, before and after operators. Okay, so here we didn't put a space after the division, so that doesn't follow our convention. Again, like I said, I think in this scenario, uh, the pattern that I have put will actually work, so you don't need to worry too much about it, but this is a convention that's worth following in any case. Okay, so function parentheses, uh, I'm saying don't put any parent space between the function name and the opening parentheses. Okay, so sum, no space, and the open parent. Okay, and also I'm saying don't put any space after the opening parent. Okay, so it's just sum, no space, opening parent, no space, salary. Okay, so no space before or after the opening parentheses of the function and no space before the closing parentheses. So again, you see salary without any space, we've got the closing parentheses. Okay, no space. Okay, once again, I think 
the pattern that I have will actually work properly even if you put a space or many spaces uh, you know here here or here I think it'll still work but again good convention to follow okay and of course when you have two function calls you're going to have a scenario like this of course you've got the plus operator and here we are just following the old convention of putting one space before and after the plus so that just works as it is okay that is why I said uh, you know the that is why the pattern for the opening parentheses is actually slightly different for the closing parentheses because of this kind of a scenario uh, you might actually see a plus occurring uh, a, a space occurring after the closing parentheses okay similarly if you have an opening parentheses in the context outside of a function then too you might have an, a space before the opening parentheses but not in the context of a function okay so this is fine uh, so I'm saying don't do this because we've got a space here and a space here this violates our convention and also we've got no space after the plus that violates the earlier convention okay but my pattern will still catch this but these are anyway good conventions to follow okay and for function arguments I'm saying function arguments are separated by commas so I'm requesting that you don't put any space before the comma and put exactly one space after the comma right so you've got one comma no space and followed by a space two comma followed by a space three no space comma followed by a space etc and of course no space before the closing parenthesis so that's what it is okay so that's the convention and similarly another example for that would be some salary again no space before the parent no space after the parent salary no space before the comma but one space after the comma and here I've got na dot rm equals true once again the equals is surrounded by spaces as per the first convention okay so uh, this is what uh, I want you to do for function arguments and these are some examples that violate our convention so for example here there's no space after the first comma there is a space after the second comma so both of these are violative of the convention I had mentioned earlier and here again after salary uh, before the comma there is a space I said don't put a space before and put one space after okay and here again this is violating the convention that we want to surround operators by with one space here we don't have a space after the equals okay so I think if you follow these conventions uh, for the most part everything will work correctly right because uh, and again uh, the same thing applies to the square bracket just like for the parenthesis uh, the same thing applies to the square bracket don't put a space before or after the uh, square bracket and don't put a space before the closing square bracket okay uh, I have not shown this in the slide but I have created a document that I will post on blackboard and the document I'll also explain that additional item 